down there are marching the future airmen of New Zealand. They're from 16 to 18 years of age, young, fit, keen, all of them interested in aeroplanes, in flights, in the new fast way of getting places through the air, up in the sky, riding clouds. They are interested in machines, how to handle them, how to keep them going. They are members of New Zealand's Air Training Corps. They are the beginning of a new generation. They're going to win the war, and after that, they're going to win the peace, grow up into a world that flies. They're going to know how it works, what makes it go, what keeps it going. The Air Training Corps is given wide general instruction, useful for two purposes. First, they may wish to join the Royal New Zealand Air Force. If so, they will be well prepared. Second, they may want to learn some craft or science that will keep them up with the world when the wheels get into gear again. The immediate demand is for young men skilled with hand, eye and brain to keep the Air Force flying. The requirements range from navigators and radio operators to mechanics and engineers. Everybody must be highly skilled. In the Air Training Corps, prospective recruits can get well ahead with the necessary training. If facilities like these are not available, training can proceed by correspondence. But there are units in all towns and in secondary schools. With all of these, the Air Force maintains close contact. In training these young men for highly skilled work, the Air Training Corps does not neglect their bodies. Physical development is included. The Air Training Corps is not trained in the air. They do not yet actually fly, but fitness is an absolute essential, whether they're to be airmen or technicians. about everything from broken engines to broken bodies. These lads are receiving RNZAF entrance certificates. They wear distinctive uniforms and their sleeve chevrons display the opportunities for promotion. Building an Air Force is a long process of intensive training. In New Zealand, the Air Force is specially important to watch over all the oceans surrounding our small islands. Through the Air Training Corps, it is planned to shorten the time taken to train airmen. When they come of age, these lads will be first-class material. New Zealand needs them. <laughs> 